And again, the moisturize my, oops, ah! Just a little bit. Just Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Tanisa, and today I'm going to share with you exactly what I do to help keep my skin clear, free of acne. So now it has been four years since I'm cystic acne free, and I'm so very happy because cystic acne is it. So let me show you exactly what I do for my morning routine and my night routine to help keep my skin clear. But before we start, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I put out new videos. Okay, first things first, have you ever heard of the caveman method? Basically what it is is that you don't wash your face. That's right, you don't wash your face at all, not even with water. And there are people, if you look up some of the videos on YouTube about the caveman method, people have actually have gotten super clear skin doing this method. However, it did not quite work out for me. I tried the caveman method for a whole hot two days and I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't do it, I had to wash my face. But there are some aspects about the caveman method that I did like that I now incorporate into my skincare routine to help keep my skin clear of acne, especially cystic acne. So for example, a couple of products that I do use like maybe once a week. This, this one is from Tula and they incorporate a lot of probiotics, which is very good for acne by the way. So if you're not taking any probiotic supplements, I highly recommend that you do. So this is a purifying face cleanser and I will use just a tiny, tiny little drop and I probably will only cleanse my face with this only about once a week. If I'm not using this, then I'll use um, this Blackhead Eliminating Scrub. This is from Gardnier and this is skin active and just to give my face a gentle exfoliation to get rid of any of the dead you know, skin cells. However, I will only recommend any type of facial scrub once you have cleared up your acne, especially if you have cystic acne. So for my morning routine, I usually do this in the shower and basically all I do is I just use water. Again, about once a week, I may use this facial scrub or I may use this gentle cleanser. Otherwise, I just put the water on lukewarm and, and it is super simple. I just basically just do this. And that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Um, because usually I will have cleaned my face the night before and I will just let my face just air dry. That's it. So once I let my skin air dry, I will moisturize my skin with an oil. So I will use African Shea Butter. Oil is really great for acne prone skin, so I highly recommend it. And I just use a little, little bit, I mean, just something tiny. And I rub that into my hands like so, and I just put it on my face. It's sufficient, it keeps my skin moisturized. Now, of course, when it gets really, really hot during spring and summer, like it does here in California, I won't use an oil so much for my skin, so instead, I will use a lightweight moisturizer. Now, this one is also from Tula, and this is 24-7 moisture, and it's super, super light. Now, whenever I'm dealing with a pimple, because I'm not gonna sit here and BS you and tell you that I don't ever get pimples anymore. No, 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 that's not true at all. The main goal, however, is to control your acne outbreak. So what I like to use to help prevent that is tea tree oil. So I will spot treat with that. Tea tree oil is the holy grail of treating pimples. So if you don't have a bottle of tea tree oil in your medicine cabinet, you need to go out and get some. This stuff is amazing, tea tree oil. So that concludes how I do my morning routine. So let me show you how I do my night routine. Also very simple, also incorporating some aspects of the caveman method. And how do people in the caveman community wash their face? That's right, they don't. But I do wash my face. Well, sort of. So for my nighttime skincare routine, I do use this acne toner and this is from Target. So what I do is I grab a cotton ball and just one little cotton ball, pop that open, pour some of the toner on there, just a little bit, and I just wipe my face. And since I don't wear any makeup, just using this toner is more than adequate to clean my skin. And again, to moisturize my skin, we're gonna use that shea butter, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Now the one thing about acne that's contrary to popular belief, over cleansing your skin 
actually what causes your sebaceous glands to produce more oil, which can clog your pores, which can cause acne. That's why the caveman method people don't like washing their face because overwashing can cause you to actually break out more. And again, the moisturize my, oops, ah! Just a little bit, just rub it in the hands to get that nice and warmed up. Put that over my face. You can also try the oil cleansing method, which is really popular. Um, I don't really do that so much. Maybe if I want to give myself like a facial massage, but definitely look into that if you want to start incorporating some oil as part of your skincare routine. And that's my night routine. So that's it. That is my simple morning and night routine to keep my skin clear, free of acne, especially that cystic acne. If you have some time, do be sure to check out some of my other acne videos. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, do be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.